hey guys welcome back to my channel that was weird Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm giving you a makeup tutorial. Ow, 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 ow. I never do makeup tutorials. I always do like get ready with me. So, and as you can tell by the title, yes, I'm a neck artist now. And it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I love, love it. I'm about to be getting ready to go to work. I'm gonna be doing like a dramatic eye, which is why I have no foundation on yet because it's gonna be, it's gonna get messy, okay? But I'm giving you brow drama. <laughs> and I'm using the Brow Sculpt Brow Pencil. So this is new. This looks like this. And it's supposed to be the, like the definer. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not my favorite, but with each use, I love it more and more. Like today, I got some really good brows with this brow pencil. And it comes with the spoolie on the other side, so that's a little helpful. I prefer the regular one, but I can use this. Like, I'm, I'm impressed with my brows today. Thumbs up for popping brows, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. I just have a bunch of teal over here in the corner. So, let's see. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. And I'm just using this palette from Shaney Shaney. I use it every time. I use this palette every single day. So I'm just gonna go in with just a random color, a random shade. Since my um, eyeshadow is going to be dark, it doesn't really matter. I just need something down. I never do like makeup tutorials. I never do like step by step, like what I do in the video. I mean, I have before, but I don't know. Let me know if you like these type videos where I'm talking and instructing. <laughs> Let me know. So I'm just going to set it with some powder. Um, I'm gonna use Airspun. And I'm gonna use this little fluffy brush. You always wanna set your primer with a powder or translucent powder because just like if you would put concealer under your eye, you would set it, or um, your foundation, you would set it. It just ensures that you won't, you know, get oily eyelids or it won't crease or anything. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go in with saddle. And then like find where that eyeball and that crease meet and like get it in there. Get in there, get in there. I've been doing so good. My skin has been clearing up so well. I mean, you still see the dark spots and I still have one bump, but I would take that one bump over the seven million I've had any day. And what I've been using, honestly, I don't know if it's a mixture of everything or if it's just this one product, but my grandma gave me some sulfur soap. And it's just a bar soap. And I forget where she got it from. I think maybe one of those beauty supply stores or something. But it's, I have seen a difference since the very first day I used it and I'm like, why nobody told me about sulfur 
years ago. Plumage, and it just looks like this. It's a nice deep teal color. I'm gonna go, I'm doing a halo eye. I know that much, but let's see. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with this pencil brush and it's by um, Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to place this color on the outside and the inside. And you know when you're using dark colors, you go in, you have to place it, blend it, place it, blend it, place it. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a process. This video is going to be the sped up version because I'm not going to show you me blending for hours because I can't. <laughs> but just know that it don't take um, five minutes to blend out these shadows, okay? Basic shape of a halo eye. I'm just going to deepen And again, find where that eyeball in that hollow meat and place it. This is not a blending brush. I'm using it to like drag the product, but I'm gonna go back in with another blending brush so it can be um, precise. I mean, wet not precise um <laughs> actually blend it i am done with my halo so now i'm gonna go in with the pigment Teal for Mac. So I'm just gonna place it and what I've learned I'm not a pro at um, halo eyes but what I have learned is when you are placing your center color you want to make sure that it is blended in with the rest. Like make sure you blend those edges just like you would anything else. Don't just place it and be done. You have to make sure that it's blended. <laughs> this is dramatic, okay? I wasn't playing, I was not playing. This glitter is from NYX and this is the color teal or GLI-03. And also the glitter glue is from, or glitter primer is from NYX as well. And I hear you have to let the glue get tacky before you um, put it on there. So I'm just gonna do the other side. This is really pretty. And blend that in with the glitter. I'm going to put on my lashes and um clean up this glitter off of my face lashes that i have on are lena lashes and demo these are probably my favorite lashes right now i have as you can see i'm pretty warm today it doesn't quite match my neck but or my chest but it's close but um i'm using the match master by mac and the color is 6.0 i am i've highlighted with my select cover up in nc45 and i'm baking with laura and now i am about to sweep it away with my select 
Flex Sheer Pressed in NC40, and this is from Mac 2. Girl Queen in Q420, and I'm going to use this e.l.f. angle brush, and I get quite a bit of product. I swirl it a few times, and then I go here, place it here, and then I just sweep up. I'm going to use this little brush right here from Sonia Kashuk. It was rubbed off. I'm going to use this Smashbox um, contour kit and this is the darkest one deep contour looks like this and put a little bit this color is really dark for me so I'm gonna put it right and always blend up <clears throat> And I'm putting it right in the center and just blending it. Now I'm going to go under my lash line and I'm going to put some of the, I'm going to put saddle first and then I'm going to do plumage. And that'll be it. I don't want to be too smoky. Okay, I lied. I want to be super smoky. Ooh. Ooh. This chromographic pencil by MAC. And I have NW25 and NC30. And I'm just going to put that in my waterline because I use... Studio Sculpt Mascara by MAC. So now I'm gonna highlight. I like to spray my face first and then highlight. Of course, I'm using Cheeky Bronze Fox Primer Water. And you know, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's a, it's, okay. Okay, I'm not done. <laughs> I like to go over it with a little bit of Mary Luminizer. Mine is cracked and I'm not sure why because I've never dropped it. <laughs> but whatever, I just go in with a very little bit because this is, this is intense, okay? And I just put it like right in the center of my highlight and it, oh, girl. I mean, you'll never understand until you do it yourself. This is, this is beautiful, beautiful. So, basically filled in my whole lip. I'm gonna go in with the Star Trek um, lipstick in LLAP. Looks like this. And I'm gonna fill it in the center. So this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Yes, tutorial. It's not an everyday look. I mean, you can wear this every day if you want to. Like, you're grown, you can do what you wanna do, okay? But, I would wear this, you know, to work or to the club. I mean, I don't club, but you know, out, like a night out. Maybe if you change the colors, you could do this every day. Like if you did like a gold glitter, you could probably wear this to class. I mean, there are no rules to makeup. You can do this. You can do this if you want to do this, okay? Even the lip. I mean, the gloss took away from the 
the color of the it's just a brown gloss now but whatever so i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment subscribe share follow me on instagram follow me on snapchat and all the information will be down below everything that i use will be down below um what else uh 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 deuces i need to get my nails done like now okay i hate this